Hi, welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. So now that we have created our Ionic Blank Starter app, which is pretty much blank, let's see what we have actually got. So you have seen already that we have a folder called WordPress Ionic, which contains some files and folders. And it also contains a public folder called www, which actually contains the HTML files of our application. So let's open this folder in Sublime Text and see what we have got. So here we are inside of Sublime Text and I have opened the WordPress Ionic folder in Sublime Text. Inside the www folder, I have a CSS folder which contains a blank CSS file. I have an image folder which only contains an ionic.png file. I have a JavaScript folder which contains an app.js file. A library folder which contains the libraries. As of now, it contains only Ionic. And I have an index.html file. So index.html file is the most important file right here. You can consider index.html as the home screen of your mobile application. So whenever you launch your mobile application, the first screen that you see is actually the index.html. You can see that inside a browser, we have the text Ionic Blank Starter right here. Okay. And right here, I have the Ionic Blank Starter text. So I am going to change this and see what happens. So I'm going to change it to WordPress Ionic. And I'm going to save it. And now if I go back to our browser, you can see that the text has changed. So we can see the changes that we make to the code in real time in our browser. This is made possible with the live reload feature of Ionic. Remember that we use the command Ionic serve dash dash L while executing our application. And dash dash L is the flag which enables live reload feature. So you can track the changes in real time in your browser as you make them in the code. Now head back to our application in Sublime Text and you can see that we have an app.js file. This is the most important file that will contain most of the logic of our application. We'll write JavaScript code throughout this application. In the next video, we'll create some more files and folders and then we'll get started with the coding process.